so. It's a little later in the day than I'd like it to be to start the project that I'm starting, but we had a fairly busy morning. Of course, it's Sunday. We relaxed a little bit in the morning on Sunday. Um, but we got the chickens all taken care of, and then had a pretty good breakfast, and I put a whole chicken on the smoker just a little bit ago for supper this evening, so that'll be really good. Today is potato digging day. So as you can see here, most of our potatoes are dead, and that's when you know, that's when you know it's time to dig them is when the plants are dead. Some of them aren't quite dead yet, but for the most part they are dead. Um, and it's pretty easy to dig potatoes. I don't, we don't till here on our property, so our soil doesn't get as compacted as a lot of people's soil. And yes, I know that doesn't make sense, but that is the truth. If you till and don't mulch, the rain will pack your soil down. It'll get it'll get hard, rock hard. Or if you don't till and you use mulch, your soil you probably don't even need to use a shovel or a pitch pitchfork or anything else to dig these up. You're probably able to pull them right out of the ground. I'm going to set you up right here and show you exactly what I'm talking. Out. Hopefully you can see that it's bright outside. I can't hardly see through my viewfinder. So I'll just grab, I'll just grab the tomato or potato. Kind of small, but this year was extremely dry. This year was really, really dry. Um, This soil is like way dry right now. There's the mother potato. Pretty small, but there's a fair amount in there. So we'll go through and dig these up just like this. We're actually not digging them up, as you can see. We're just going to pull them. We're just going to pull them and uh, see what we end up with. I can't remember what kind of potatoes these were. You can see how dry that soil is. Wow, it's dry. There's a lot of potatoes there, but... Um, they're real small, and the reason they're so little, I mean, that's not a bad potato, don't get me wrong. The reason they're so small is because it's been so dry this year. And once I get all these pulled out like this, then I'll go through with my pitchfork and dig down in a little bit and see what we end up with. That right here is out of two plants. Just the amount of potatoes there for two plants is actually pretty good. I don't see any crest there in there. I mean, they look, look like pretty good potatoes.
pretty warm out this morning. We're probably maybe halfway, maybe not quite halfway. Um, got a fair many in the wheelbarrow. They're pretty small. Some of them's not bad sized potatoes, but most of them's pretty small. But that's due to due to the dry climates. But the potatoes themselves all look pretty good. All all of them's really healthy. The few that has some green on them, not too many. Um, Most of them have a fair many, fair many potatoes per plant. Most of them do, um, but they're just little. But we ain't got any rain in a month. Well, that's not true. We got about three eighths of an inch of rain last Wednesday, which is the only rain we've got in a month. In 29, 30 today, be day 30. We got three eighths of rain in the last 30 days. So, and we don't irrigate so. I mean, what, that's to be expected. Yeah. I think that's why they died back so quick, too, because they dried out. Um, the soil is real dry, as you can see. It's decent looking soil, but it's just dry. Good thing we use leaf, leaf, fall leaves for mulch, or we'd have, we'd have, we wouldn't have got any potatoes. No. Without irrigation, so. But we're getting there. She's probably halfway on her road. I'm not quite as far as her, only because I stopped and filled the wheelbarrow up. No, I'm, I'm just that fast. I mean, just saying. You know, she likes to dig in the dirt. Get your hands dirty. That's too. Feels good. Take your shoes off, walk around barefoot, ground yourself, get yeah. your hands in the dirt. Makes you feel, feel alive when you do stuff like that. And then... Digging potatoes is like Christmas in July because you never know what you're going to get. <laughs> Very true. So, we're going to set you back up and let you wash us for a spell. Oh, that's a red potato. Yeah, it is. <laughs> that's there. a nice one. Well, we had some red potatoes in this bed last year. and we must not have, Somebody must not have dug them all out. I, I, I would <laughs> guess that would have been probably me. I don't know. There's another red potato. <laughs> I found a red potato down there, too, when I was digging. Surprise, surprise. See, just like Christmas in July. Yep. You just gotta watch out for the thistles when you ain't got no shoes on. Oh, they I know, because I threw one. Yeah. I yeah, got one. There's no thistles down at the stem right. by the thing. No, down, down to the ground. So I got it. I, I need down on one and thought, oh. Yeah, I guarantee that hurt. Yeah. Definitely hurt. So finally, she got them all dug up. She got them all dug up. <laughs> Not this guy, that lady. I ain't the only one that did this. But we did finally get them dug up. Of course, it didn't take that long, two hours. The only reason I know it was two hours because I put a chicken on the smoker and um, my timer went off, so two hours. And we got a wheelbarrow full, literally. I don't know how many we got. I think we, I think we started with 30, 30 pounds seed pound or yes. 30 pounds of seed. I think. I don't know how much we have left, but and they all look good. Is the only one I see that's bad is this one right here. Ah. Uh, Looks like a vole or something was into that one. Other than that, I didn't see any that was bad. That there might have some teeth marks in it, maybe. Even I think nothing wrong with no, cut that out. No, cut that out. But look how big that one. Oh yeah, some of them, some of them are really nice. Most of them are small, but that's because it was so dry this year. Yeah. Well, we got a wheelbarrow full. We're gonna take these up and weigh them. I'm very happy with this. Oh yeah. 
Very happy. Yeah, I am too. Yeah. Very happy. <laughs> um, yeah, we started out with 30 pounds, but it's been dry. Like I said earlier, we only got three eighths of an inch of rain in the last month. 29 or 30 days actually but um we'll take these up and weigh them and we'll show you what we got cooking washing a few of them up not many just some small something you ain't got to peel nice bite size or something you can cut with pork when they're done they and look awesome here's some beans she snapped this morning and i think she harvested these either wednesday or thursday today's sunday so they're still fresh I won't say for sure. She bat she picked one batch of them Wednesday and one batch Thursday. Depending on if those are providers or if they are the Kentucky Blue. Them was the providers. So those were picked Wednesday then. Wednesday. Yeah. Yeah. Look here, your face is dirty. <laughs> Just a little. <laughs> all right. That's all right though. I think. So there's that. That's probably enough for meal for us, anyways. That's so this here has been set on 225 degrees for a little over two hours. I need my heat resistant gloves. And this here was a rooster that we harvested last November because he was a jerk. And when chickens are jerks around here, that's what happens to them. Look at that. Oh my gosh. So now what we're going to do... Do you remember how many pounds he was? Uh, right at four. I think he was four pounds, one ounce, I think. So that's the last of last year's chickens, actually, but we got some in the freezer. So then this was broth we made last year out of chickens that we harvested. Um... We've got a fancy gizmo somewhere to open them with. Second drawer. Oh. This little thing works pretty good too. If you ain't got one, you need it. I already shook it up. So now, uh, actually, before I do that, I need a stick of butter. Yes, please, a stick of butter. No, I'm not a cook, but I do, I do like to cook. I'm going to shove this up behind. Put that back in there. And that will melt through the inside. Oh my, and I always put the breast down when I cook a chicken, so that way the moisture goes in the breast meat. Minced garlic from January that we had a bunch of leftover garlic and minced it. We do eat a fair bit of garlic, but we always mince ours. I think we got a whole other jar of this somewhere in the freezer, probably. And I'm going to throw some of this up behind. With the butter? With the butter. Might as well put two in there. And put him back down. He is crispy. And the reason I don't want to smoke him until he's totally 100% finished, for two reasons. One, I want to put some chicken broth and stuff in there with him. But chicken dries out so bad if you smoke it. Actually, any meat that you smoke dries out a lot. So that'll be that. And now, I'm going to shoot grab another jar of that. But I ain't going to. I just want to throw these potatoes in around here. You don't have room. Oh, there's room. There's room. Smoke potatoes is it's not, awesome. They're not going to smoke them. We're wrapping so they well, won't actually yeah, get any but... smoke on them. Then I'm going to put a pound of green beans. Well, with a pound. We, well, I don't know. I can't say that this was a pound. We I think it was 14 ounces. We put them in one-pound bags. If 
And that was... If she has enough for that, that's fine. If she doesn't, then she saves it out for us. But yeah, I think that one, that's why I kept that one. It wasn't quite a I think... Looks like I hate to put water in there. I think I'm gonna... Or another jar. Another jar. Another jar, I'd say. Okay. You put a scoop of that there. You can't get wrong with garlic. Scoop of that there. And I don't cook much, but when I do, she likes it. She usually does the cooking, but when we cook outside, I do it. I'll be grabbing another jar out of the pantry. I'll be right back. Another jar. I said how pretty it was. Well, it is pretty. <laughs> it will, uh, and I'm sure it'll be quite delicious. And all from out. Yeah, all this everything from our here yard. was everything here was raised here. Garlic, yep. garlic potatoes. You just saw us pick them. <laughs> Beans. We got tons of them. And the rooster. And the rooster. And if we didn't have, if he wouldn't have been a jerk, he wouldn't be here right now. He'd be down there <laughs> crowding with the rest of them. So if you got jerks running around, you know what to do. <laughs> they taste pretty good. He would be, he would have been hatched in probably April, and we harvested him in November. He would have been, what, seven months old. Yeah. His breast meat won't be as big as a meat bird or a fork. His breast meat won't be as big as a. Come on. Get a piece of it, Rip. I was going to say, the. I think his, his shiny goes out. His legs will be bigger. Oh, really? Yeah. It, yeah, because birds. It's non -stick. Birds that are made for bread, not made. For meat are bred for bigger breasts. Regular birds aren't. They're just they got smaller breasts and bigger legs. Oh. Me personally, I think the legs and thighs taste better than the breast anyway. So. Yes. And no, I'm not a professional wrapper upper, so <laughs> as I always say, you have to deal with it. I deal with it a lot. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll put this back in the smoker for about probably three hours. And we won't even touch it for three hours. It'll be five o'clock. It'll be supper time. That's going to be perfect. Thirty-five. Exactly. Really? Yeah, with all them point one, point five. Not too bad. We got one, two, three, four, five, six boxes. So yep. twelve pounds figure boxes, maybe two pounds a piece, pound and a half, two pounds a piece. So, so minus, minus yeah, minus twelve. Hundred and twenty-three pounds. Hundred and twenty-three. Not bad. So Somebody forgot your book to tell us what brand of potatoes, what type of potatoes they were. Eva. 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 Yeah. Yes. 30 pounds of them. We started with. We started with 30 pounds of seed on 426 is when I planted them. And actually that video of me planting them is on TikTok and I'll try to figure out how to, I'll put the link for that video below. So if you want to watch it, feel free. Um, I didn't make a long video, just a short video. We have a box, and it ain't a very big box. These here are, this box here is pretty small. They're kind of rejected ones. Some's got damage. Some's like, you know, got a little chew marks on them. Some's got some green spots. These, green, these ones with green spots. 
most of them, missing your maybe not. Most of them, most of them you can cut that out of. And if you can't cut it out of it, you can always use it for seed next year, so it's not that big a deal. But most of them are pretty decent potatoes. Yes. There's not a thing wrong with that. That's awesome. Um. Yeah, start with 30 pounds and ended up with 100 and 123 on a dry year. That's pretty good. I'm happy with that. Would have liked to have got more, but you know. This will last us the winter. We don't eat that many potatoes anyways. And we have two boxes of small potatoes. And by small, I mean... They're good for... Nice, like what you've seen us put in our chicken. Nice little cooking potatoes. Yeah. Yep. One box ain't quite... Well, actually, neither, neither one of them is. But, actually, no, never mind. That there's the big, the smaller smalls. So we got three boxes of big potatoes, two boxes of small potatoes, and one box of rejects. But they all say whole chickens with giblets. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what we found something to do with our chicken boxes. But anyways, yeah, happy with that harvest. I'd like to have got more, but it was dry this year. So we, like I said earlier, we went 30 days with only three eighths of an inch of rain, and that was that was this past Wednesday. Today's Sunday, so I'm happy with that. If we'd have got, if we'd have had a normal rainy year, we'd have them potato. We wouldn't have got more potatoes, but these would have got huge. So we'd have had, you could have easily doubled that amount with what we grew easily, if we'd have had a wet year or more of a normal year. So hopefully it turned out the chickens. Hopefully not dried out, but it's definitely cooked, as you can see. <laughs> Oh, it smells divine. It does. It all smells so good. And the potatoes and green beans are fork tender. Mm-hmm. Making my mouth water. That's how we do it around here. That's right. You see how dark the meat is on on a chicken? That is actually a chicken chicken, not a store bought chicken. Of course that's a rooster. Even even our even our uh, meat birds that we raise for meat, they, their legs aren't that dark, but they're darker than what you buy in a store. Uh-oh, here we go. Let's see. This definitely looks delicious. Look at that. Mm. Mm -hmm. I love my green beans, so let's try these. Try it first. Oh my gosh. Good? Oh my gosh. Yeah. Try a tater. Oh man, the flavor of that. Nice. Yeah. Put in some more broth. That melted in my mouth. <laughs> I took like two bites. You no, know, it's then. fresh. I mean, it was just dug a couple hours ago. Oh my gosh. Literally, just a couple hours ago. I'm going to try the chicken myself. Um, you going to try Let the chicken? See. Go ahead. You can try the chicken if you want to. No, go ahead. Oh man. I'm more of a carnivore than I am a vegetable person. Mm. There's so much more flavor in that. Man, that's so good. I'm yeah, glad we did that. It's definitely a win-win. There's no doubt in my mind. No, if that ain't a Sunday dinner, I don't know what is. Mm-hmm. Mm. A little warm, but it's delicious. <laughs> definitely good. Um, yeah, it's definitely, definitely a good meal. Yeah. You did well. Yes, you did. It was well worth the wait, that's for sure. Yes.